Hi, you're on Pogo Spot and this is DevScoops, a rapid show and tale on tools and practices in cloud technology in general. If this tickles your fancy, click the subscribe button. So let's get into it. In the previous DevScoops episode right here, I showed you how to leverage on Docker in Docker to manage multiple versions of build and deployment tools in a build agent that's running in Docker. There are also occasions when we want directories in the host machine to be accessible in both the build agent container and the subcontainer that runs the task to build and deploy your application. So let's pull out the code that I created for my build agent example. We know from the previous DevScoops episode that in order for the build agent container to run Docker, I need to mount the path to my local host Docker socket file. As a concrete example, let's say I want to use the Git repository for the web proxy series, and I want to build on the CDN infrastructure. So what this means is that my build agent container will do a Git clone of the repository, CD to the appropriate infrastructure directory inside the same repository, and then run Terraform commands. So for simplicity, I will only run Terraform init without backend and Terraform validate. First thing I will do is update my build agent Docker config file and install the Git binary. And now I'll rebuild my Docker image. I'll start my build agent container. And inside this container, I'll run the git clone command. And then I'll cd to the appropriate directory for my infrastructure for CDN. And now I will run Terraform init using the Terraform Docker image for version 1.1.0. But before I run this, I need to mount the current directory on my build agent container to a source directory inside the Terraform container. And I also need to set the source directory as the default working directory. And now if I run this, it is complaining about an empty directory. But if I list the files inside this current directory, the Terraform configuration files are there. And if I investigate this further and get inside the Terraform container, And by default, I get to the source directory. If I ls this directory, it's empty. The mounting of path from a base Docker container into a sub Docker container does not seem to work. There is a way to make this work, which uses the volumes from option and mounting a host path to the build agent container. So let me exit this build agent container to set this up. The first thing I will do is head to my explorer and then in here, I will create a new directory and call it work there. And inside this directory, I'll create a bash script that will contain all the commands that I ran earlier inside the build agent. So let's call this file buildinfra.sh. So the first step on this script is cloning the repository. And then after that is a docker run command to run the terraform init command without the backend. Before I run this command, what I will do is pull out the associated container ID for my build agent. And then I can start adding a parameter in the docker run command that sets the volumes from. I also need to set the default working directory on this command. I also want to run terraform validate right after init. So all I need to do is duplicate this set of commands and change this to validate. And then lastly, after I'm done, I can do some cleanup and delete the repository in the source directory. Now let me head to my terminal and change the permission of this file. And now I'm going to start my build agent container. Before I trigger this command, I need to add another volume mount which mounts the work near path on my local machine into the source directory inside the build agent container. And so it will look like this. I also need to set the source directory as the default working directory on my build agent container. And then lastly, I need to set the name of the container for my build agent. And now if I run this, I'm now inside the build agent directory by default, and it brings me to the source directory. And if I ls on this path, it will show me the build infrastructure script that I created. Now let me go ahead and run this script. So everything seems to be working. My Terraform init is running and my Terraform validate was successful. And that's it. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Until next time, stay safe.